The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on the Beneteau Swift 34. We're going to take a look at the features and layout, starting with the swim platform. Notice the teak decking on the swim platform that comes out 2 feet 10 inches from the transom. And we're looking at a 46 inch reboarding ladder here with not only integral handles, but grab handles up on the top to help pull you out of the water. Notice how Beneteau thoughtfully put in both a lower and upper rub rail. As we enter the cockpit, notice the teak cap rail all along the edge. Plenty of room in the cockpit, a large bench seat to starboard. Your shore power lines, very nice feature that Beneteau is safety oriented and provides an emergency bilge pump. Just up above, a hot and cold shower. In the center of the cockpit, access to your lazarette which has easy to use steps, plenty of room for storage in addition to your batteries and generator. One of the good marks of an offshore sea boat is how it disperses water. On the Swift 34, if you take water over the bow, it comes down the side deck and gets channeled out and over the side rather than into the cockpit. The port side deck is three steps up from the main cockpit deck and there's a grab handle once you're up on the deck. In the center of the side deck, Beneteau thoughtfully put a nice location for your propane tank. All the way up forward, the rails are nice and high. I'm glad to see that they meet both ABYC and CE requirements. 28 inches. Fully forward, I've got access to the chain locker, and I notice that I can have nice access underneath so I can untangle if I have to. On the other side, you've got access to the remote control for the windlass and just additional access to the same locker. At the working end of the bow, you've got about a four and a half inch tow rail, which does a surprisingly good job of keeping you on board. It decreases as you start moving aft, but the rail height stays the same. This is also an asymmetrical layout for the cabin. I've got 21 inches of space between the cabin sides and the bulwarks on the port hand side is 13 inches. There's a spring loaded hasp that'll allow you to open up the side door and give you access to the dock. 20 inches at the top, narrowing down to 14 inches. You're gonna to wanna to be careful when you close to make sure that the hasp is in the closed position because otherwise, it'll just hit the door right there. The flybridge features a boat deck. Your tender will be launched with the mast. However, I could easily see my wife and I putting a pair of deck chairs here. Beneteau thoughtfully added a rail all the way around. The helm is over to the starboard side, features a very uncomplicated layout with the gauges to the left, a Raymarine C90 widescreen display in the center. Convenient having the table and gathering area over to the left hand side of the helm. Great when the captain's going to be able to share some of the snacks and have a space to put his drink. You went to the salon through double wide doors and throughout our test, these doors never moved from the position we left them in or rattled. You've got great ventilation with opening windows to either side, the double doors to the stern. To starboard, there's a helm door. Plus, you've got 16,000 BTUs of air conditioning. To starboard is a butter soft double sofa. Pulls out into a berth. Table opens up. Leads will pull out. Over to the port side, a pair of director's chairs that can easily be taken out to the aft cockpit and revealing storage behind. Forward and to port is the galley with a double basin stainless steel sink, plenty of counter space, a double burner gas stove, convection microwave oven, and plenty of storage. Beneteau certainly could have gone with a simple plain overhead, but they made it multi-layered, teak strips, LED lighting, I'd like to see handrails running down the length. To starboard is your helm, double wide helm seat, six and a half feet of headroom, door to the side deck. The forward windshields are kept clear by a pair of defrosting vents. Now let's take a look at the accommodations forward. I found the head to be plenty roomy enough while I was taking a mock shower and the commode is over to forward and it shares ventilation with the shower as well. The forward stateroom features a queen size berth that's only accessible from the aft end of the berth. There's plenty of storage underneath as well as two hanging lockers to either side. On the port side is a seat, the forward bulkhead, the stereo and your climate control. The port stateroom features an over under berth. The upper features two opening port lights. The entire stateroom shares its climate control with the forward stateroom. 
that's our look at the design and layout of the Beneteau Swift 34. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.